Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about the user coordinate system. So I have a new file open, it's called bathroom enlargement, and I have nothing on it except for an xref of my furniture layout plan. The default coordinate system of any DWG file is the world coordinate system, which is showing right here. What I'm going to do is use the user coordinate system to define my own orientation so I can rotate my plan and project my elevations easily. So I'm just going to zoom out to show you the origin point of the world coordinate system. So we have the X and Y axes here, and I'm going to type in UCS. It's already allowing me to control the origin point. So first I'm going to place it. I'll type in 0, 0, 0, so it's in the exact same spot. Now I'm going to define my X axis and then my Y axis. Then I'll type in plan and hit C for current UCS. So this is the new orientation that I just defined. Now I need to save it. So I'll type in UCS again, then hit NA for named, and then S for save, and I'll call this UCS1. So this is going to be helpful when I want to project an elevation of this wall right here or this one right here. And I can always go back to the world coordinate system by clicking this drop down, then selecting it and typing in plan, then C for current UCS. Let's add another orientation, UCS000. This time, this is going to be the X and this is going to be the Y axis. Plan C. Then I'll hit UCS, NAS, and I'll name it UCS2. And it immediately appeared right here. And finally, I'm going to add my last one. So if I click this drop down, I'll find all the orientations that I just created as well as the world coordinate system and I can switch between them easily. So I'll go back to WCS for now, plan C, and that's it. Stay tuned. In my next video, I'm going to crop around this space right here using the xclip command and I'll show you how I set up my file to start drawing up my elevations. Thank you for watching.